the Daisy UI library, because they say that it's the most popular component library for Tailwind CSS. Well, we're going to actually take a look at it. So da Daisy UI uh, adds component class names to Tailwind. Okay, so this is their website. So let's just take a little bit of a scroll. So to be honest, they have a very nice website. We show the example here, you know, styling with Tailwind, right? It's a bit messy. But in this case, this is Daisy, Daisy UI. Simple line of code. And if we come down here, so this is Tailwind only. This is what Tailwind looks like but with Daisy UI. It's simplified. It looks like that. You see that? Very nice. Look at that. Tailwind, simple. Still get the job done. But with this, it's like very sleek and it's it's authentic, right? Now, fewer class names, fast development, smaller file size, okay? Which is true. Okay. So what else can we see? Well, well, we can see, oh, by the way, we can also add it to any framework. And, um, you know, we can use it with Next.js, which is very cool. Another cool thing is that they've got multiple themes, right? So, you know, you've got some of these themes here, which is very nice. I like this. This is neat. I love it. It's very clean, modern design, you know, different styles. You can see all the themes here. So I'm not really too much interested about the themes, but what I want to see is all the components. So let's start off with the coordination right away. Boom. Look at that. Simple stuff. JSX code is very clean and simple. It's minimalist. Okay. And now let's go try something like alert. I right, said, so this is the alert basic stuff. Again, I'm more interested in modals to be honest because modals is more pleasing to actually handle with and if we check out okay let's let's check out bottom navigation uh, we've already seen the button we don't need to see that okay let's go to the drawer drop down hero section the input field and uh, the modal and yeah you can see all these other components but i don't want to go through too much i don't want to dive in uh, too much of this stuff right now there's a lot of components to go through so we'll go through the basic which most applications use right so what is this this is the bottom navigation so we can see this is bottom navigation clean right I don't see why no one would use this but it's very simple we've got the avatar I'm not sure about the triangle though what the heck is that about all right what is that uh this is very modern I, I prefer like square looking and circle looking that's just that's just more pleasing to look at uh so I'm not a big fan of the these masks things here I don't know what that's about but you know anyways uh if we come down here drawer let's go drawer yeah that's cool I like that it's very quick and easy look at that it's very quick to open this drawer and um what else do we have here oh so well so we we've been through that sorry i just like the quirky you know when you click on it it's like bouncing you know it's very clean it's it just feels modern you know gives that modern touch to it um at the end of the day it's all about usability right can the user figure out what they're doing on your web application when you build a website like this or you know when you use a ui library like this is it clean and is it authentic is it easy to navigate through right this is cool i'm not sure what you would use this for but you know what it's good enough and that's awesome too yeah okay so the hero component which is most used a lot box office news i'm not interested in that yeah this is cool login now very simple form text input now let's type some stuff hello world on a web application huh. yeah it's very basic right it's nothing too much to think about too special really it's just basic stuff right it's just a necessity when you want to build a form uh very quick to just pop open and just use okay the modal is what i like i like looking at modals now this is a modal that i like why because it's it's like it's very modern right when you open it it's like a modern feel to it you know and it uh, feels like ease with opening it and closing it it's very nice and uh legacy modal was that is that all the modals okay with anchor links okay that's cool and uh anything else carousels uh they've got some carousels here we can't scroll okay that's interesting uh what about wait what is this oh yeah that's cool yeah no that's i do like that that's that's kind of cool yeah uh okay so we went through the toasts I'm pretty sure yeah we went through that uh what else skeleton text area select yeah but that that's pretty much it for now yeah anyways so that is daisy ui and it's very simple it's clean and it's actually the latest version i can see why people would use it because you don't have to write all this stuff out it's just very simple it's like boom done simple you know like look check that out boom see that it's easy just grab that use it in the application it's easy to use you know the last time that i used daisy ui was like in a different web application and it actually messed up my own ui that i wrote and i was like never mind i cannot be bothered using this but maybe in the future i might use it but you know you can use it in any of these uh, frameworks and libraries right and um yeah i don't see why no one would use it right it's a very cool framework to i mean library to uh, work with here yeah i guess uh, stay optimistic with this i mean look at all these people that are also interested in this library it's a lot of people and it's open source so it's well maintained which is very cool it's very trustworthy pmpm look at that that's how you know it's good when they allow pmpm okay 
created by this guy or this individual and um i'm pretty sure there's a team behind it as well i'm not sure you know what it looks cool i like it and um yeah they, they've got a discord community if you're interested in joining that you can go ahead uh don't reinvent the wheel every time that's a that's a good thing in tailwind css projects you don't need to write utility class names for every element thousands of class names just to sell the most basic elements yeah i know so that's a they found a problem and they solved it by building a solution and now here's daisy ui all right if you want to see more videos like this follow for more subscribe and i'll see you in the next video peace